Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM Hub relationship and lookup configuration. So we know that even if we design the MD, uh, database model, we have to also decide what are the relationship we are going to have between the tables. Also, what are the lookups which will be available or which we need to configure for our database model. So once we design appropriately, then we can go into the MDM hub console and configure the relationships and lookups. So in today's session, we will see detailed about the relationships and the lookups. So where we can configure the relationships and lookups? In order to configure the relationship, you have to first create the base object expand the base object inside the model schema so the base object once you create the base object it will be available here expand the base object and there you can find the relationship at the right hand side of this section you will find the plus sign green plus sign you have to just click that and configure the relationship one which you have designed during the design phase where can we configure the lookups in order to configure the lookups you must have the staging table so you can define the staging table go to the columns uh, so here there will be three tabs properties column and setting go to the columns tab select the column on which you want to define the lookup there is a edit sign will be enabled just click that and define the lookups so let's see little more, little more about the rela relationships and the lookups. So what is a relationship? A relationship means that two or more tables are linked together by a common field called as a primary key field. Table relationships increase the power of the database by allowing data to be stored separately but manage and retrieve collectively by this statement it means that the of course the we can segregate or the separate the multiple columns so that we can have the better control on the, all the data and we can manage it in efficient way relationships link data from individual tables and the increase the re uh, usefulness of of a database so this is the feature of the database by which we can achieve the more usefulness of the data so this is very basic requirement of the database design the keys to relationship so you can see in the diagram it is employee table and the order table employee table and the order table are linked together by the employee id so that means employee can place an order so there is a relationship between the employee and the order so how can we achieve that so in order to achieve that we should have one primary column so in this diagram employee will be a parent table and the order will be the child table. So primary key should be present in the parent table. That is, a, in this case, it is employee table. A primary key is an essential element of a database table. It is a data type that is said to make each record within a database table unique and to link table together. So if you are defining any record in your table that should be identified by the one unique column and that unique column nothing but as primary key this primary can primary key can be also used in order to achieve the relationship between current table and the other child table primary key field must be of the same data type and the size for the table to which they link for example employee id in the employee table it is having data type as a var char and size as 50. In the order table, the employee ID should have the same data type that is var char and the same length that is a 50. Here in this diagram, the red line that graphically represents the relationship 
between the two tables so there is a relation between the employee and the other in this given diagram foreign key relationships so this was in the primary key relationship what is a foreign key relationship in informatica mdm hub a foreign key relationship establish an association between two base object through the matching column in a foreign key relationship one base object the child contains a foreign key column which contains the value that match value in the primary key column of the another base object that is the parent if the foreign key of a child table object points to row id object of the parent base object the foreign key of associated child cross reference table point to the row id cross reference of the associate parent cross reference table this means suppose i have order table which is having the foreign key employee id which is points to the row uh, employee id now consider the case if you are maintaining the relationship by using the row id object so employee table will have the row id object column and in order table you will have the emp row id object column and in this case if you are maintaining emp row id object it is pointing to row id object from the employee in that case the column or the column in the cross reference table of the orders like order cross reference table which will also have the emp underscore row id object column which will point to the row id object of the cross reference table of the employee so so it will also maintain the relationship into the cross reference table also types of foreign key relationship there are two types of foreign key relationship first is system foreign key relationship it is automatically defined and enforced by the informatic mdm hub during the creation of the tables and the second foreign key relationship is user defined foreign key relationship which mean we can create on the custom column so in this diagram if you see the relationship so there are these are the relationship like the relationship created on the consolidation indicator then relationship created on the cust id and the relationship created on the row id system out of these three relationship the uh, relationship on the consolidation indicator and the relationship on the last row id system those are the system generated while uh, the relationship on the cust id that we custom created the, these are the direct relationship the foreign relationship is nothing but the relationship using the foreign key and here the cross reference for row id is pointing to the row id object from the bio so this is the foreign key relationship it is available by system now suppose you are creating address to customer table in this model so this is direct uh, relationship if you go to the relationship into the view cost so that the same relationship we can say the as a foreign relationship because in the foreign relationship address will have the cust id as a foreign key and the customer will have the primary key as a cust id let's go to the presentation and see little more details about relationship enforcement restrict the mdm hub restrict the deletion of the record from the parent table when the associated child records are available so so if the child records are available then mdm hub do not allow to delete the record from the parent to delete the record from the parent table we have to delete the record from the child first delete cascade the mdm hub deletes all the appropriate metadata table <coughs> sorry metadata when the parent record deleted from the c repo table so, so whenever you delete the table the appropriate changes will be also deleted from the metadata like the record is deleted from the c repo table relationship types and force first uh, point is mdm hub create the enforce relationship one which are let us in by default relationships are available enforce relationships are the database constants in the database 
For example, the relationship between a base object and in the cross reference table is enforced. So we no need to create that relationship. If you see here, the relationship between the cross reference table and the BO, those are automatically get created and it is provided by the Informatica MDM. Problem with an enforced relationships are reported from the database layer. So any error is occurred during this enforced relationship then that error is reported from the database layer. So you will get the database error. Virtual, the user create the virtual relationship. The MDM hub does not create the constraint for the virtual relationship. The virtual means the one which we create manually on the custom tab column. For virtual relationship, the MDM hub stores the metadata for the foreign key relationship internally. Problem with virtual relationships are only reported when you run the application server. So these are the two things. If if the relationship is like enforced, then the, we will get the database error. If it uh, relationship is virtual, then the error will be reported when you run the application server. Look up for the foreign key relationship. After you create a foreign key relationship you can configure a lookup for the column so that means if you don't configure the relationship then you cannot define a lookup on that column for example if i delete the relationship on the cust id then we cannot configure the lookup on the cust id so that is the meaning so in order to define the lookup we should have the relationship established A lookup causes Informatica MDM hub to retrieve a data value for, from a parent table during the load process. So, so what, if you configure the lookup, then the data will be retrieved from the parent table. It is just do the lookup and it will retrieve the data from the parent table during the load process. For example, if an address staging table includes a consumer row ID foreign key column, Informatica MDM hub performs a lookup to the row ID object column in the consumer base object and retrieves the row ID object value of the associate parent record in the consumer table. So it is taken care by the Informatica MDM hub that the retrieve the value of the lookup from the sub parent. It can delete any user defined foreign key relationship that has been added. We cannot delete the system foreign key relationship that Informatica Hub automatically redefines and enforces to protect the referential integrity of the schema. That means we can delete the relationship one which we create manually, but the those created, if you see, if I select the cust ID, I can delete the my minus red sign is visible. If I select system created relationship, it is not possible to delete such a relationship because this helps to provide the referential integrity. So these are the details about the relationships and the lookup. If you have any questions on any Informatica topic, you can mention video below. You can my you can subscribe my channel as well. Thank you for watching the video.